they regret not trying to start a new life with you. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. These are the cards I got. Someone finds you beautiful inside and out. And I think it's a lot of people. I don't think it's just this person, but this, you know, if you, this is for you, you've been asking for a sign or there's some reason you're seeing it. If it's not for you, keep scrolling. Please don't make a message fit. But somebody wants to know if they can come back in. They've got some self-destructive qualities. That's what I'm getting from this. The self-medicating. This is very just destruction. Somebody who's done a lot of damage to their life and blaming you for it. And they wanted a new life with you. And that's why they're self-medicating. That's why. I mean, okay, I shouldn't say that. Now I'm sounding like them, huh? They are the ones who are making this decision, Okay. They need to lay this down, whatever it is. Now, we all, as human beings, seriously, we all tend to go looking for something to fill a void. All of us. I don't care who you are. And there are healthy ways to do it, and there are unhealthy ways to do it. And this person has chosen some unhealthy means. But what I think I'm supposed to tell you here is this is deeper than you realize. And um, they may be trying to come in. If, you've, if this message is for you, you've likely heard from them, or you... You know, you have good reason to believe you're going to hear from them. Or maybe <laughs> it's a thing where the offer is always there. Like, I don't think this is someone who even would have blocked you. Maybe you would have blocked them. But I think however you parted ways or however, like, the last communication ended, because I do think there's been no contact for a while or at least periods of it. But I, I think that's been your choice. I think the contact was always there if you wanted it. Anyway, let me pull some cards to get some more clarity. Your strength intimidates people. Time for a change. See, I think this person, if they haven't reached out, like, because I don't, I honestly don't think you'd even be upset to hear from them. I really, I don't, it's just one of those things that ended, but not necessarily ended in like a bad way, in a way that was like, we'll never talk again. It was more just like, a, you know, one of those things that fizzled out. Like maybe you did break up, ended on, it could have even ended on good terms. But, you know, communication just dies out over time. They're intimidated for some reason. That's why they haven't come back in. Uh, you know what? It makes sense because it has to do with this. They're intimidated because they know you're going to tell them that it's time for a change. Oh, okay. Okay. It makes sense now. They know if they come back in, you're going to call them out on this. Self-medicating. It doesn't have to be like a, you know, this doesn't have to... The self-medicating here does not have to be what's depicted. It could be something else. I'm just getting self-destruction from that. Past, present, and future. I think this is a recurring person for you. Like I just said, this kind of confirms that for me. Um, they want to have some kind of future. And I think they even want help. I think there's a big struggle here. But, um, you know, they went off and started some kind of new life without you. And I think, I think they started it with someone else at first. And they regret that, but I think now it's just them. Uh, now it's you know them and this, whatever this is for them. But they want you back in your in the future. You know what I mean? They want to bring you back with them. Unique insight. They think that you could offer them some kind of advice. This whatever this is, this is making up for some way deeper struggle. This whoa, okay, okay. This is a, you know, it's about that time in the reading where things go in a real deep direction, if you follow me. Um, this got deep. This is someone who, they they are really struggling with an issue, and they want to come back in, but they think you're busy. They think you're going to call them out, you know, and you are, probably, but, you know, if this is someone you want to hear from, and I, let, let me see what the, let me see what the cards say. I cried over you. I have cried over you. They... They're just, they want help. This is someone who needs a lot of help. I think they're, honestly, right now, it wouldn't surprise me if they were crying. Like this. They are, they are distraught. You did a number on this person. Multi-talented. That goes back to the unique insight. There's something you have that they need. Is it money? Is it a place to live? Is it all of the above? Maybe um, to work with them again. Maybe to show them, you know, maybe you're making money and they're like, hey, how do you, I want to make some of that. How can I do that? But anyway, they, they see you as someone who holds the key to their struggle. But I think what I'm supposed to tell you is their struggle is way deeper than you think. That's the warning here. That's the reason for this message. If they come back in, they're going to downplay it. This is someone who would likely plan like a way to like, you know, meet you in public. You know what I'm saying? Like coincidence. <laughs> you know, they're going to they know your favorite grocery store or whatever, your favorite anything, restaurant. They know where your mom lives, whatever it is. Like, they're going to be planning, 
you know, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, okay, they're, they're struggling so hard that, like, they may even just, like, hang out in a neighborhood just to see where you go and just hope that you'll casually run into them and they will go out of their way to act like it was casual. And I don't think this is someone who wants to do this type of thing. Like, I don't think it's, I don't think it's normal for them. I think they might act weird. I don't, I think this is new because whatever it is, the struggle, they've got a new set of needs. And I'm sorry, but I am getting that, ugh, I'm, I'm getting, just getting a vibe of, someone who has an addiction to pay for do you know what i'm saying and when people have an addiction to pay for they will go to great lengths to take from other people and to be selfish and stingy and ask you know ask you to pay for everything and steal from you whenever they can and that's that i don't think it's for everybody but i think for a lot of people that's where this person is now let me get three cards from this manifestation deck to show you or give you some advice you have excellent ideas, and they know that. Again, this confirms what I thought. They, if, if not money or time or a place to live, they think that you have an idea for them that can fix everything. That's You're the fixer. You are the fixer. You set healthy boundaries. I knew this card was going to come out because this is someone who does not want you to have boundaries at all. They want to come in and just be like, you know, I'm going to eat all your food. And and this is a metaphor, too. It doesn't have to even be this. It could be a job or something. But, I'm, you know, take it as a metaphor. Um, someone who, you know, they come over and suddenly you don't have any food. They're just helping themselves to everything in the fridge. And they're using all your toilet paper and your deodorant even. And just everything. Like, everything you have is your. Everything that you have is theirs now. And they use it all without even saying thank you. That's how they are going to act in your life if you let them in right now, okay? That is how they're going to act. And But you said healthy boundaries. Let's just draw that energy in. You cannot stop good things from happening to you. Look, even if you mess up, you're going to be fine. Look, just you got to have boundaries, though. I want you to be strong and say no to this person. You can talk to them and help them from afar. You, you honestly can. You can make phone calls for them. You can help them find a place to live. You can... You know, drive them to the food bank or something. You know, I'm metaphors again. These are metaphors. You can help them to an extent, but I wouldn't get too close because they're going to run all over you. They're just going to just anyway. You already know this. And I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just letting you know what's going on because I think you've been asking and wondering, or maybe you don't even see this coming, but you feel it coming. But anyway, you have excellent ideas. It is spoken. It is written, and so it is. Amen.